Chevrolet. All right, we got some stuff done. See, we moved it. It's in a different spot. We got more room over here now. Woo, bottleneck. Um, show you what I did just before. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Ding, 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 ding. I hate the buzzer on these things. Wagon. Still not painted. Brake dust. Uh oh. What have we been doing? Hello. Ah, I have to plug my hood light back in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bad video, bad video, bad video. Oop. Okay. Hopefully, I won't need a light, but I might. Okay. Portion your valve on your. Impala or your 9T1. These things aren't set up right from the factory. So you have um, like a 90-10 uh, bias, brake bias, broke again. Um, that's my whatever ADD moment. And then right, I'm not ADD. Anyway, 90-10 uh, brake bias. So what you do is you uh, change the front little bolt here. And then and it's a... Uh, uh, it leaking over here? I hope not. Um, <clears throat> anyway, change the uh, the front one and the rear bolt. I did the front one back in 2006. The rear one, I uh, this did a couple of minutes ago. Not minutes ago, hours ago. This was the stock bolt. Take it out of the bag, hold on. Don't fall. One of these cameras I had just broke, I got another one. For free. Um, stock bolt doesn't have a, uh, a little bevel edge over here. New one does. Oh, breaking stuff. New one does. So it has to be screwed in the back here. Portioning valve in the back, kind of tight back there, but it's doable. Screw the new one in, bleed the brakes, and then it changes the uh, brake bias to about 70 front, 30 rear. And uh, this thing over here removes the delay in the front brakes. Before I just had the front one going, this car kind of stopped like crap. It um, kind of didn't want to nosedive at all when you stopped. And it was uh, not the best feeling. It kind of felt like it had air in the brakes, really. But now it doesn't. Feels good. And uh, yeah. Did that, let all the brakes around, get another part out of my box. Hopefully this thing is not leaking. I don't think it is. Oh yeah, another thing at this thing. I don't even know this is my mystery coolant leak, because I still kind of had this. This hose was, uh, I started this thing up, it was leaking all over here. This hose is bad, so I went on my uh, parts bin. Found a hose from 2007. Perfect size, put that on there. Saw this leak, and when that was leaking too, it was spraying all over here, so it could have been my leak on the idler arm. This power steering pump seems dry. I did get lines for this thing, it's because the lines are old, but didn't get a pump. If anything, I'll send that pump out for rebuild because there's remands. I looked at them in the store and they're all loose. Not a fan of loose power steering pumps. Yeah, hopefully this thing is not leaking in the front. That's no good. That's why I always get air in the back. <laughs> Never know. We'll see. Um, so that's done. So look, reservoir with ATE. Look at this mess of cylinder too. This thing rocks around. Probably shouldn't do that. It's kind of scary. One day I'll fall off. Should probably warranty that. And uh, had a what did I have? Had a little rattle in the back too. Ouch! Let's hit the wagon. Uh, yeah, you can't see yeah, it. I wanted to show you. There's this little thing on the parking brake cable that was loose, so I put two zip ties around it and solved my crazy rattle I have on the right rear. Not the left rear. So that's done. That's your little metering bolt. I had a fancy lathe, too. I could have made one. All you have to do is just cut this edge right here, the slightest, slightest bit, in like a 45 degree angle. And it's good. So, we got. 
better stopping brakes. Yeah, GM didn't even um, set up these things right because most of these cars had drum brakes. Like on a station wagon here, they have the same portioning valve and drum brakes. Um, and the portioning valve is uh, timed differently because you have to allow for the springs inside to expand. So always there's a delay from pressure to the rear because you have to energize those springs. So um, your rear drums would work unless your brake pedal will feel funny. But when you have disc brakes, you don't need that delay. So the delay is gone. That's what we've done. Hopefully we solve mystery cool and link with it. Leak with that new hose. This is fuel line. I think um, it's not even coolant resistant. I'm not sure. It's like a third time I replaced that hose. I gotta see if they make something that's specified for coolant. I don't think fuel line is the best. Maybe it gets overheated. I'm not sure. But that's what we did. Have a good one.